Whether you're a fan of the classic Lightroom or the new CC version, I'm going to give you my opinion on which one I use and why coming up in today's Tip Tuesday. Some amount of time ago, Adobe updated its suite of apps to include something new slash different. If you are a photographer or you work with photos in the raw format or you just like editing photos with the Adobe Suite, you will notice that you now have the option of Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. And yes, they are two separate apps. While I could give you a list of specs of what's different and what's new and all these other things, I'm not gonna do any of that. I can direct you if you need information, but I will not be giving you specs. Personally, I use both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC in my photography workflow. After I edit my photos in Lightroom, I will then put them in a collection and then sync them to Lightroom CC where I can then access them on my phone, on my tablet, on my computer if I so wish, on anyone else's computer if I can log in. The coolest update I think so far is I can edit one photo in Lightroom Classic, sync it to Lightroom CC, and then copy and paste that edit across the entire set of photos that I need to edit. That was one thing that I could not do, or it was difficult to do in the old Lightroom version that I am grateful that we can do now. Sidebar, organizing your photos in Lightroom is really important if you're planning on going between Classic and CC, because knowing where photos are in Lightroom was a big problem for me until this new switch. As far as an initial app for editing, I do not like CC. Um, it's too mobile-y. I just don't feel like I have as much control. Maybe I just haven't spent enough time in it. I don't feel like I have as much control over my edits, over the way that things look and feel the shape. Even on the desktop app, it's, it's just not the same. I prefer to edit in Classic and then move over to CC when I'm ready to download them, share them on social media, uh, make other small little tweaks depending on what's going on in the photo or maybe I want to re-edit a photo like another photo and I'm on the go. Um, CC has been wonderful for that capability and maybe that's what it's intended for or maybe it's intended for you know intro level photographers who want to step up their game a little bit and are too intimidated by Lightroom. Overall classic is the way to go if you're looking for a desktop photo editing app and I recommend Lightroom CC if you plan on taking those edits that you made in Classic and bringing them with you on the go or bringing them to a different device. Syncing those things, making them work together is the solution I think to a problem photographers may or may not have. I don't know your workflow, I don't know your schedule, it just works for me. There is no winner, there is no loser put them together and they work. That's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which editing software you use to edit your photos. Is it Lightroom CC? Is it Lightroom Classic? Am I talking too fast? Who knows? Find out next time on next episode of Tip Tuesday. My name is Larry G and you guys can believe that.